hello everyone welcome back to dmg chemistry classes and in today's video i am going to explain another experiment related to thermochemistry or calorimetry and the experiment is determine the heat of neutralization of a strong acid hcl with the strong base naoh calorimetrically okay but before discussing this experiment let us quickly recapitulate what is heat of neutralization and uh, or enthalpy of neutralization so it is the amount of heat evolved when 1 gram equivalent of an acid is completely neutralized by 1 gram equivalent of a base in aqueous solutions and i have explained this enthalpy of neutralization or heat of neutralization in one of the, my previous videos in detail and in that video i told you that neutralization reactions are always exothermic reactions that the heat is evolved during the neutralization reactions i also explained what is one gram equivalent and why do we take here one gram equivalent of an acid and base instead of one mole i also told you that the heat of neutralization of any of the strong acid with any of the strong base is always constant and it is equal to minus 57.1 kilojoule per mole i also explained that the heat of neutralization of a weak acid with a strong base or a weak base with a strong acid is always less than minus 57.1 kilojoule per mole because some heat is utilized in the dissociation of the weak acid or the weak base and i also told you that uh, uh, the, this heat of neutralization is calculated for or it is uh, for 1 gram equivalent of an acid and 1 gram of, uh, equivalent of a base but the units of your uh, heat of neutralization is kilojoule per mole okay so all these things are explained in detail in that particular video so i will share the link of that video in the dis description box uh, dis uh, description box and that video is a must uh, watch video okay so please watch that video now i am coming on to the experiment and first of all i am discussing the requirements of this experiment so the requirements are calorimeter with the lid and stirrer lid and stirrer okay then 1 by 10th degree thermometer okay and uh, 250 ml beakers beakers 100 ml measuring cylinder And the chemicals required are chemicals are point five normal SCL and point five normal NH. Okay, but here I want to tell you that the final heat of neutralization will be calculated for one normal of SCL and one uh, normal NaOH because one normal solution of NaOH contains one gram equivalent of NaOH dissolved per liter of the solution or 1000 ml of the solution and likewise the one normal SCL contains one gram equivalent of SCL dissolved in or dissolved per liter of the solution or the 1000 ml of the solution okay and as i told in the definition this heat of neutralization is for the one gram equivalent of an acid and one gram equivalent of a base now let us discuss the chemical equation of this experiment so here we have a very simple chemical equation and in that equation one gram equivalent of HCl is neutralized by 1 gram equivalent of NaOH. So here we have HCl aqueous plus 
N A O H aqueous giving us salt that is N A C L aqueous plus liquid water. Okay, and I can also write uh, this uh, chemical equation in another way because when HCl is dissolved in water, it dissociates into the ions. So I can write it like this: that is H positive aqueous plus Cl negative aqueous. Likewise, NaOH also dissociates. Then we have Na positive aqueous plus OH negative aqueous giving us Na positive aqueous plus Cl negative aqueous because NaCl which is salt is also a strong electrolyte and completely ionized into the ions plus unionized water okay and now the ions present uh, on the opposite sides will be cancelled so Cl negative uh, will be cancelled with Cl negative and this uh, your Na positive will be cancelled with Na positive and we will be left with your H positive aqueous plus OH negative aqueous giving us unionized water okay so this is the overall chemical equation of this experiment so this is the you know this is the chemical equation of this experiment and now we will discuss the procedure of this uh, experiment and the first step of the procedure first step of the procedure involves the determination of water equivalent of the given calorimeter that is determination of water equivalent of the given calorimeter and the procedure is same as discussed in the previous experiments so I am not going to repeat that procedure here and the step number two involves determination of heat of neutralization determination of heat of neutralization okay and the first step or in the first step of this procedure what we will do we will take 50 ml of uh, 0.5 normal HCl in the given calorimeter so suppose uh, this is our calorimeter okay so this is our calorimeter and we will take how much uh, 50 ml of your 0.5 normal SCL in this calorimeter okay and we will note uh, its temperature and let uh, the temperature of HCl is equal to T4 degree Celsius okay and why T4 because the T1 T2 T3 will be the temperatures of cold water hot water and the mixture uh, during the determination of water equivalent so that's why the temperature is T4 and after this what we will do we will take 50 ml of NaOH or 0.5 normal at NaOH okay what we will take we will take 50 ml of 0.5 normal NaOH in a separate beaker and we will again note its temperature and let the temperature of your NaOH will be equal to T5 degree Celsius okay then after this what we will do we will mix the NaOH solution taken in the beaker rapidly into the HCl solution taken in the calorimeter okay then what we'll do we'll stir it well we will mix it well and after mixing we will note down the temperature of the mixture solution 
okay and let the temperature of the mixture solution is equal to t6 degree celsius and as i explained uh, earlier that this t6 degree celsius will be higher than the t4 and t5 because when the scl and the noh will be mixed the neutralization will take place okay and as i told you that neutralization reactions are exothermic in nature so heat will be evolved that's why t6 will be higher than t4 and t5 temperatures okay and just like uh, the other experiments we also have an alternative procedure in this experiment also and that procedure is again very simple what we do we again take a uh, 50 ml of your 0.5 normal scl uh, in the given calorimeter and then we determine or we measure the temperature of this scl after every 1 minute for 5 minutes okay with the help of a stopwatch and after this we take the noh solution or 0.5 normal noh solution in a separate beaker and we measure its temperature after every minute for the 5 minutes okay and after uh, noting down these temperatures we again mix noh solution rapidly into the hcl solution and here we don't stop the stopwatch okay then we mix the noh into the hcl solution we mix it well uh, uh, by stirring okay and then we start noting down the temperature of the mixture after every 1 minute okay and then we plot a temperature time graph yeah, as we discussed in the previous experiments so how do we plot the graph here so the temperature will be along your y axis so along y axis we will have your temperature and along x axis we have time okay 0 1 okay like this so these are the temperatures of uh, your alkali or base sodium hydroxide after every 5 minutes and as i explained earlier then we join these points okay and these are the temperatures of your scl after 1 minute after 2 minutes okay after 3 minutes after 4 minutes or after 5 minutes just like that okay and uh, then we have the temperatures of your mixtures and temp first uh, reading of the mixture will be taken after the 6 minutes okay so this is the temperature of the your uh, uh, mixture after your 6 minutes then 7 minutes like this and then again we join these points okay then as i explained in my previous videos we draw a vertical line which indicates the time of mixing so suppose the mixing time is after 30 sec second okay so here that is 5 minutes and 30 seconds so i will draw a vertical line here like this so this vertical line indicates the time of mixing okay then what we'll will do we will extrapolate these uh, curves here this curve is for your noh 0.5 normal this is this curve is for scl 0.5 normal and this is for the mixture okay then we will extrapolate these lines to the this vertical line that is time of mixing and this will be the this will be the temperature which can be calculated from this uh, uh, you know y axis so this is the temperature of your scl that is t4 degree celsius and sorry this is temperature of your noh alkali and this it will be your 
55 degrees Celsius. Likewise, I am extrapolating this curve to have the temperature of your SCL and it is T4 degrees Celsius and this will be the temperature of your mixture that is T6 degree Celsius. Okay, so this is an alternative procedure. Now let us discuss the observations and general calculations. So first of all, I am discussing the observations of this experiment. Observations. Observations. So first of all, in the step number one, we will have for the observations for calculating water equivalent. So these uh, observations will remain the same as discussed in the previous video. So I am not discussing uh, these here. And in the st step number two, we will have observations for calculating heat of neutralization. heat of neutralization okay so observations are that is volume of 0.5 normal SCL taken is equal to 50 ml okay then volume of 0.5 normal NUH taken is again equal to 50 ml then temperature of SCL is equal to T4 degree Celsius temperature of your uh, NaOH it is equal to T5 degree Celsius then we will calculate the average of these two temperature so the average temperature average temperature is equal to t4 plus t5 divided by 2 so this is the average temperature okay and we will take this temperature as the temperature of both HCl and NMH for the calculation of rise in temperature. So, जब हम rise in temperature calculate करेंगे, तो हम इसी temperature को मानेंगे कि यही temperature है दोनों का HCl का भी और NaOH का भी. Then the temperature of the mixture is temperature of the mixture solution. Mixture solution is equal to T6 degree Celsius okay so these are the observations for the calculation of heat of the neutralization now let us discuss the calculation or general calculations so first of all we will have general calculations for the calculation of water equivalent and as I told you earlier, uh, these will remain same as discussed in the previous experiment. And in the step number two, we will have general calculations for calculating heat of neutralization. Okay. So first step of the calculation is uh, we will calculate the rise in temperature. So the rise in temperature, rise in temperature of the mixture is equal to T6 degree Celsius minus T4 plus T5 divided by 2 that is average temperature of both SCL and NAOH 
and this is the temperature of the uh, mixture solution okay so this will be the rise in temperature and here i am supposing that let it is equal to delta t so this is the rise in temperature okay then the total volume total volume in the calorie meter okay is equal to 100 ml that is 50 ml NaOH plus 50 ml HCl then the mass of the mass of the mixture solution will be equal to 100 gram because here we are taking density of the solution is equal to 1 gram per ml so the mass of solution will be equal to 100 grams okay after this we will calculate the heat of heat gained okay heat gained by the mixture solution here i want to tell you that we will here we will measure the heat gained by the mixture solution and the heat gained by the calorimeter okay because the total heat gained will be equal to the heat evolved during this neutralization reactions understanding matlab ye hua ki is calculation in calculations ke dauran hum log total heat gained nikalenge theek hai ki kitni heat gain ki hai mixture solution ne aur kitni heat gain ki hai calorimeter ne aur usko hum add karenge और जो टोटल हीट गेंड होगा वही होगा हीट इवॉल्ड ड्यूरिंग दिस न्यूट्रलाइजेशन रिएक्शन ओके सो द हीट गेंड बाय द हीट गेंड बाय मिक्सचर सॉल्यूशन बाय मिक्सचर सॉल्यूशन विल बी इक्वल टू इट्स मास that is 100 gram into the specific heat that is 4.184 okay joules into rise in temperature and rise in temperature delta t so this is the heat gained by the mixture solution then we will calculate the heat gained heat gained by by the calorimeter okay so heat gained by the calorimeter will be equal to its water equivalent as i explained in my previous videos will be equal to its water equivalent into specific heat 4.184 into rise in temperature okay now we will calculate the total heat gained total heat gained by both mixture solution and the calorimeter and it will be equal to 100 into 4.184 into delta t plus your w into 4.184 into delta t so rise in the temperature of uh, your calorimeter is same okay we are having same rise in temperature for the mixture solution as well as for the calorimeter and uh, here you can clearly see that uh, these two terms are common then we will have total heat gained uh, total heat gain will be equal to 100 plus w okay into 4.184 into delta t okay so this is the total heat gained and let us suppose it is equal to q joules okay now this is the heat evolved okay this is the heat evolved when 50 ml of 0.5 normal HCl 
uh, reacts with 50 ml of uh, 0.5 normal NaOH. So now I will say the heat evolved. Heat evolved when 50 ml uh, of 0.5 normal SCL reacts with 50 ml of 0.5 normal NaOH is equal to Q joules. Okay, then then the heat evolved when 1 ml of 0.5 normal SCL reacts with 1 ml of 0.5 normal NOH will be equal to Q divided by 0.5 5 into 50 so this is the in joules okay this is the heat evolved when 1 ml of 0.5 normal SCL reacts with 1 ml of 0.5 normal NaOH now we will calculate sorry here we will not have 0.5 normal here we will have 1 normal 1 normal so this is the heat evolved when 1 ml of 1 normal SCL reacts with 1 ml of 1 normal NaOH. Okay. So now we will calculate it that is the heat evolved heat evolved when 1000 ml 1000 ml of one normal SCL reacts with 1000 ml of one normal NaOH will be equal to will be equal to this uh, Q upon Q upon 0.5 into 50 into 1000 joules and I have explained it uh, uh, in the beginning of this video that the final heat of the neutralization will be calculated for one normal of SCL and one normal of NaOH because one normal of SCL contains one gram equivalent of SCL dissolved per liter of the solution or in 1000 ml and one normal solution of NaOH contains one gram equivalent of NH dissolved per liter of the solution uh, or uh, 1000 ml of the solution understanding so uh, that's why we have calculated it in this in this way so this is our final heat of uh, neutralization of this reaction and we can convert this uh, heat of neutralization into kilojoules by dividing it by 1000. So the heat of neutralization, heat of neutralization will be equal to Q, Q upon 25 kilojoule per gram equivalent per gram equivalent kilojoule per gram equivalent and as I told you uh, in the beginning of this video that we can also write the units of this heat of neutralization Q upon 25 kilojoule per mole okay and as I said I have explained this thing uh, in the video I was talking about earlier so 
this is all about the determination of heat of neutralization of a strong acid with a strong base. So friends, keep watching my videos and like and share my videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.